it was wonderful in the derivative of um, the um, hyperbolic sine inverse of Bux. And the hyperbolic sine inverse is the same as the uh, natural log of Bux plus the square root of Bux squared plus 1. So sine hyperbolic sine inverse of Bux is the uh, natural log of Bux plus the square root of Bux squared plus 1. So we want the derivative of this expression right here. And recall that the derivative of uh, ln x is 1 over x. But here we have the ln of this expression. And so the derivative will be 1 over, so let's write this down. And so instead of bucks, we want the derivative of ln of this expression right here. So it would be 1 over x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. And then the chain rule says we have to mul uh, multiply by the derivative of x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. The square root of x squared plus 1 is the same as x squared plus 1 to the 1 half. The derivative of x is 1. Derivative of x squared plus 1 to the 1 half is 1 half times x squared plus 1. And then subtract 1 from the exponent. So a half minus 1 is negative 1 half. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of the base, x squared plus 1. That's the, the chain rule. The derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x. One half times two x is x, and so we put the x right here. X squared plus one to the negative one half. We can write this as x dividing by x squared plus one to the positive one half. And this is the same as the square root of x squared plus 1. And now let's add these two. Let's add the 1 and x over uh, the square root of x squared plus 1. And so the common denominator is the square root of x squared plus 1. So multiply the one here by the square root of x by the square root of x squared plus one and dividing by the square root of x plus one. And so we end up with the square root of x plus one plus x over the square root of x squared plus one. This ex expression and this expression, they're the same. So, x, the square root of x squared plus 1 plus x, dividing by this will be 1. So, this expression, this expression. And so, we get 1. And so, what's left is 1 over the square root of x squared plus 1. And therefore, the derivative of the natural log of x Uh, plus the square root of uh, x squared plus 1. And so the derivative of hyperbolic sine inverse, which is the derivative of the natural log of x, 
plus the square root of x squared plus 1 is 1 over the square root of x squared plus 1. And if we change this 1 right here, instead of 1, if we have a squared right here, a is just a some constant, and then go through the steps similar to this, and then find the derivative, then we will end up with 1 over the square root of x squared plus a squared. And therefore, the entire derivative of 1 over the square root of x squared plus a squared will be the natural log of x plus the square root of x squared plus a squared.